Hey guys, Comedy Drill here. And Mosh Pit Cosplay Productions. And we're doing a little on thing recording at Grand Asian Market. And hashtag not sponsored. Anyone of you sponsored by anyone? This store? Not currently. That means that sponsor us. This video has been inspired by Stormy Pulse, Furry Tribe, Tappy Snacks, and Addy Boyos, Furry Go to Chinatown. Links to those videos will be description below. Okay, we're going to go in and explore it. Catch you on the flip side. Peace out, folks. All right, guys. We're back now. Rook and me is going to go home and try the snack. Yeah. Hey, hey guys, welcome back. So I'm not actually using my mic to record because it's when you pick up each other. Mm -hmm. So we got some snackies here and a few drinks, things to try. Should we show them? Yeah. You grab this side. I don't want to. Yep. Oh no! <laughs> Where'd you go? Alright, so we grabbed a few different things here. Like, I grabbed strawberry milk. Don't worry, there'll be pictures. Some unsweetened green tea to see what it tastes like compared to the usual stuff I get. Preserved oranges. There's party wafers that they sold there. Cappuccino flavor. Here's, I picked up Maggie's Hello Panda vanilla cream. I think it went my days in Target and really just want to try them. Ramune flavor gummy candy. So I'm thinking this will be kind of like gummy worms, but so good in ramune. And I can invent dirt to try dried squid to eat. Yeah, the last time I had squid, I had gotten it at the Mongolian barbecue, and it was just one whole. It was a lot of tentacles. One of them was long enough to wrap around my uvula, causing me to gag real loudly and scare everyone. And so, it's been years since I've tried anything squid or octopus related. Well, it sounds like that tentacle was pretty tentacruel. <laughs> in addition to this, we each got a drink I picked up at a different store, using one of my cashback apps. Yeah. Don't yeah. know don't know what that is? It's, well, I talked about it in a previous video. Link in the comments below. Yeah, this is just in case it turns out something we can't quite get our tons around. Back in the garbage bag. So what should we try first? Oh, no. Uh, keep in a hell of a of stuff everyone. Okay. That's a oh, here. here. Happy we the bucket. So remember, this is vanilla cream. So we just went with this, what we thought was one of the same. They have adorable little panda prints on them. Is this the same? Oh, no, they're all different. Mine's Mine a little. Mine has a little hole where his mouth should be. <laughs> but yeah, he has a little fencing panda. I have a little soccer player panda here. Shall we? Three, two, one. Not bad. Reminds me sort of Oreos, but without the chocolate. Everything. Indeed. You didn't take a look at the tip of the mm -mm. Alright, now we're going to rate it on a 1 to 10 scale. Now, um, 1 being, I will not touch this again with a 10 foot pole. <laughs> and 10 being, this is my new favorite thing. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I'll probably give it a 6, simply because it's kind of a plain flavor for me. 
I mean, yes, it does sort of remind me of Oreos, which I like those. But, just a little too plain to me. Otherwise, they are really good. I'm about there with you. This is a... Uh, Damn, it's wrong. Now I'm <laughs> Okay, now I can't. The crab one. Alright. What's she? It sort of reminds me of when I used to eat the orange, the tangerine sour Altoids. Any of you guys remember those? Shout out in the comments if you do. Three, two, texture issue with me. It's this weird mix between salt and gummy and at least just a weird sort of sour citrusy aftertaste. I would give that a one. Oh yeah, I don't want the 10 scale. That's a solid one for me. Yeah, I don't know if it's because we just don't like, never really tried preserved stuff, but... Yeah, that. That was not good. The texture was just really weird. Like half gummy, half solid stuff. And I don't really like gummies in the first place, but this was just weird. Weird. Try it, squid the effect. Not fresh. Alright. I tore it, cut up a piece into it. Now mm -hmm. I'm going to break up a small piece of it. You guys ever have Food where the app, where the taste from it just keeps coming back, no matter how much you drink or eat something else. Definitely fishy. It actually reminds me a little bit of when we would go to the, the Detroit Penguin exhibit. Here. Sure. A bit chewy to chew on. I don't think it was really. to be chewed just by itself. It is. It's good. So I was like the beef jerky, it's squid. Yep. One and scale. Mm, probably two. Mm, I actually expected it to taste a lot more fishy, if anything. And to be honest, I tasted more salt than anything. Plus it was kind of chewy. I'm about a four on it myself. Would you actually try to finish the rest of that? Maybe give it time. How much time? I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the squid chips we tried before. Those are squid chips. Shrimp. Shrimp chips. Sorry. That video is in the cards above and the description below. Thank you. This is strawberry milk. I keep seeing so many animes with strawberry milk in it that when I saw this I just had to try it. And the small things so I don't feel too bad about throwing the rest of it in the drain if it turns out strawberry milk is not as good as it seems. Definitely strawberry smelling. Indeed, And they didn't keep this refrigerated, so... I think it's going to have to be after we put it up. Yeah. Open it up. Maybe. Interesting. I know, it sort of reminds me of a melted chocolate I mean, melted strawberry shake. Not the best texture in my opinion. But melted milkshake says. Mm. And I do agree. Kind of like melted ice, mm. strawberry ice cream. Yeah. Hey, it would be better if we had it in the freezer? In the fridge? Maybe. Mm. It's a bit of a strong taste when you first drink it. I had to sort of like put it in the side of my mouth so it wasn't directly on my tongue because it felt like the strawberries trying to hit the back of my throat. <laughs> what? 
drink wise, I'd probably give it like a 3.5. Not something I would buy just to drink it, but if it's one of those things where I had to choose that over something else, I may try it again. For me, it was more of a 3-ish, which might be better, cold, why not, I'm not sure. Yeah, this was directly on the shelf. They didn't portray it at all. So, for you who are following at home, we have three things left to try. Alright, the wafer, the brownie gummy candy, and... My unsweetened iced tea, which I do tea. have green tea, thank you. I do have some sugar packets we can try adding to it. So if you guys do decide to get it later and it turns and you need to sweeten yeah. it, we're going to try both unsweeten and try with a few packets of sugar. See if that affects it anymore. And if it's any different from this American green tea I usually drink. Okay, which one next, bro? Uh, while we're on the drink topic, let's try the... Nope. Hmm? The Romney. Right. I don't really care for gummies, but let's see. Hey. Hey. I know who to get these to if we don't like them. Yeah. This is like the stuff that you would see in like the Kari Sweat bottles, right? The little beads. Well, that. Oh, they come in a little packet. Okay, I can smell the ramen. Egg. Okay. Mm. Okay, I've had ramen egg before, uh, in the actual drink. Not the same as the beads. This one tastes funny. Definitely strong mm, smell. Yeah, you can smell it from the little packages. Very squishy. Definitely gummies. Here. Yeah, bye. It's not bad. It's a gummy bear texture and does have that type of flavoring to it. At the same time, it's ramenade. Yeah, the only way I could describe ramenade is definitely gummy bear flavor. And I don't know if you had got the drink. I don't know. I actually prefer the American Finnish fish gummies. It's Swedish. Oh, Swedish. Thank you. Fish. Question is, are they actually American or not? I had to Google that later. Yeah. Once again, has it not sponsored? By anyone, really. Unfortunately. So, only thing left is the wafers and the unsweet green tea. The, the wafers are cappuccino flavored, so. They were. Still drink flavored! Yeah, they were. Rem yeah, recommended by our buddy from earlier. Mosh Pit Cosplay Productions, for those of you who don't know. Yeah, so, tea. A drink to drink, a drink to have with the jam and bread. <coughs> Sorry, I usually drink, drink my tea with sugar. So it's a bit strong. I'm not much of a tea person. It is strong, just so you know. I'm going to take a sip. Just a sip. I'm not sure if they get this is a solid one for me. Yeah. He actually shifts her. I'll let her try it with the sugar and and tell me if it's Yeah, this stuff's definitely stronger than the brand I usually get. I usually drink the big hello brand and green tea with ginger plus Biggie probiotics. Low? I think the big low. Biggie low. Biggie low. Yeah, I usually and drink it with a few sugar packets. And so it's been a while, so I'll be going to four or six sugars. Just considering how strong this is. I would suggest just taking a sip of it. Still a little strong. I'm eating after three of these. Then again, it's been months since I actually drank. And candy cream tea because life just got busy. Yeah, the first time I started drink drinking green tea, 
it is so strong that I would sometimes actually use six packs, I mean 12 packets of sugar. Don't tell my mom that. She thinks the most was eight. Oh, did we ever create the ramen candy? No, we didn't. On the, on the scale of one to ten. Ramen candy, I'm not a gummy person myself, so three for me. About four. I'm, I'm Sweden. He said it was a one. I wait until I put some sugar into this. Pure unsweetened, what would it be? Pure unsweetened? Sorry for tea lovers, but I would say one, two. Okay, bear with the sugar. So, this stuff's a lot stronger than the stuff I usually get. Even after six sugars, you can still taste this sort of like dark hickory. Or at least that's the best way I can describe it. And flavor that sort of kicks to the back of your mouth. So, with probably eight sugars maybe, I would give it a three or yeah, this stuff's just really strong. <laughs> really, really strong. All right, now for the wafers. First, which is cappuccino flavor. Made in Italy. Well, it is cappuccino, so makes sense. Mm. The wafers themselves made in Italy or not? I don't know, but we got this at the Grand Asian market, so. Who knows? It smells a lot like the tiramisu I tried when we went to Rock and Roll Sushi. That was really nice. Once again, not a smart but All right, it's a wafer. According to our, our, our friend, our friend, he says there's like 70% wafer cream in here, so it's not all cookie. I'm not really saying it. It seems to be more wafers than cream. Yeah, even the American stuff. Usually have a little more than this. Let's try. Okay, I like this one. This one I like. It does taste like a crunchier tiramisu. So if you guys do have ever tried tiramisu or want to try something similar, definitely check these out. It does say it's seventy four percent cream filling. No artificial flavors. No artificial colors. I like it. What about you? It's interesting, I'm not really a coffee guy, so... Mm, there's that. I put it out about a five for me. Mm -hmm. A solid nine? Mm-hmm. Sorry, my mouth's full. Well, get it out. We have tried all of our snackies. Yes. Thank you for watching, guys. If you have any suggestions for next time, then let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, if you liked what you saw and want more of my crazy content, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a like, maybe a comment, share it around with your friends, family, I don't care. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny. Johnny. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Click the video on screen right now to check out another one of my videos. Until next time, Johnny.